So this is the leftover patty melt mom got me yesterday when she and her friend Johnny went to, I believe it was Robbie's. Following a day of working hard to put together a new bed frame for mom's room. That news uh, came pretty sudden to me. The old bed seemed to be just fine, but then again. My mom was more familiar with it than I was, so... I have a lot of granite mines, though. I'm currently not at the recommended 10 minimum that this person, this dwarf, recommends. I have no idea if this word is also part of the elven language or part of the part of a new dwarven language. Speaking of languages, I not too long ago did some Spanish practice on the skill phases phrases two, which contained uh Venti Quattro, the Spanish word for 25. Wait a minute, Quattro. No, that's the one for 24. For 25, it's Venti Cinco. And uh, Venti Tres, Trace, for 23. And they were featured as new words for that lesson practice. Although I'm pretty sure I saw those words in the past on the website as I've been on Duolingo for years at this point. Though it's only been just recently that I've installed The Duolingo app. I microwave this patty melt and this Dinty Monroe for a minute each separately. I got this patty melt out of a styrofoam container. That's right over here. I tried to uh, have some coffee today, but oddly enough, despite sending the brew command, the curry wouldn't brew the Keurig pod. My mom said that. The coffee machine had been acting up lately. Uh, patty melt's pretty good. Oh, that's some of the darkest bread I've ever seen. I, in particular, for breakfast, had a can, oops, a can of Chef D mini ravioli that I microwaved for a minute and then an additional 30 seconds. And a 
a bowl that was, I think it, it's a China bowl. That's the technical name of the material. It's definitely, it definitely wasn't glass, and it definitely wasn't plastic. So that's the material I assume it was. I covered it. with two squares a paper towel and I did roughly the same thing for lunch hours later except I got a bigger bowl in the hopes that doing this would prevent it from overflowing when I got my first point in a second can of my first put in a can of Chef G mini ravioli and then a can of I believe original spaghettios. I ultimately did this because after breakfast I saw those two cans near the kitchen sink. I believe I just to the left of it, and those cans still are, including the can I had for breakfast. In general, I pretty much spent the day taking pictures of old styrofoams. I found in the basement relatively old ones some of them at least including one I found drawn in pencil that was from 2013 it seems to me it's more likely to have been in pencil. The middle of 2014 seems to be the crucial point in which I transitioned from using pencils and pens to make my style from drawings to the Sharpie markers that I'm so familiar with today. At some point yesterday, mom and her friend cooked a pizza in that oven. So now the oven's gonna have to be specially cleaned. Also for breakfast, I finished off that football carvel ice cream cake. There was just a slice of it left. A relatively a medium sized portion. And so I finished it off at breakfast after having that can of Chef D mini ravioli. Although, of course, I squeezed in some work on the 99th Dan Hamming. I'm at the point where I'm on the verge of getting to the scene where Michael froze himself through one of the shop's windows. In order to set off the alarm. And get help for the Uber driver.
I spent quite a bit of time Hmm. At one point I went down into the basement and found one of the old cardboard boxes with star foams written on it in order to distinguish that cardboard box. As being a cardboard box that I years ago designated to contain a bunch of my old styrofoams. And, uh, and that turned out to be where mom put a bunch of smallest star foams that I made back in 2019 that I took a picture of in the basement and I that I left within the basement You know, this has got me wanting to get Mark's Pizzeria again at some point. I'm hoping tomorrow. I'm also going to have to ask if Mom can take me to the Bartford campus on the 3rd of February for a COVID pre-arrival pool test. Then I think I might have to go again on the 7th. Well, obviously a minute it wasn't really enough to get the fries to an optimal temperature but they were still pretty good now, this is where I am currently Uh, between yesterday and now, there was some point in which I completely forgot about Elvinar. As it, and as of now, I've not been able to resolve the the login issue regarding Iron Rage. Oddly enough, I think I was ignored. When I went on to the Iron Rage Discord channel, or server, I think is the technical term, I went under the support, the game support, congregate channel, because I did originally start playing Iron Rage from through congregate, but 
And now I do so through the launcher. As for this, I'm currently have concerns with how few gem how few gem relics I have. Soon I'm going to need a gems tournament, though it may be a while before that comes around. I think I may be in the A. It looks like I'm going to get in the get in line to build the thrones of the high men first. It's going to take two excuse me squares to ultimately do it, so I may end up placing it here. Excuse me. Mm. Although, of course, it may ultimately be more important to expand this Dwarven settlement. <sighs> At some point, soon I may decide to do some province encounters in the hopes of at least getting closer to getting a province expansion. Because it reflects light, I think the fact that my area is currently currently has a pretty thick layer of snow, I think it added at least an extra hour I like this sauce. An extra hour to full sunlight. The time where I feel it's appropriate for me to take a picture of most of my styrofoam drawings. Oddly enough, I recently noticed that I haven't taken a picture of my star foam drawings of Daphne and Scooby of the Scooby game. However, I ultimately refrained from doing that because I guess I didn't feel like pulling those members of the Scooby gang back down into the living room after taking a picture of them in my room, even though it was a longer trip. to take a picture of that box of cardboard with star foams written on it. I'm really enjoying this journey. I recently Just now, in that other cardboard box of styrofoam, a bigger one, <laughs> I caught a glimpse of some of the earliest styrofoams I ever made. And also, when I opened up that plastic lid container in which the lid was red, it was smaller than the rest. I think I ultimately started around 9 in the morning.
and shortly after that period, I took a picture of, I mean, I found a plastic bin, see-through, clear, with a gray plastic lid, with hinges, Mm. And instead of coffee, I had two of these at breakfast. And I think I had at least one of these at lunchtime. At one point, I found my multivitamin gummies. And I took the recommended dose of it, as well as my one iron supplement tablet that's round shaped. And as for the multivitamin gummy, it kind of looks like two drops candies. Though I'm not entirely sure if I said the name of that candy entirely right. They could be called Dumbs or Doms, for all I'm aware of. Except... The multiple vitamin gummies are powdered. They have a powdered texture to them, but they're not actually powdered. And as for I think I first got up around 6-ish in the morning, so I ultimately saw the sunrise today through windows within my room. I also spent some time creating, I believe, uh, two new styrofoams. out of these color patterns because I have so many Sharpie markers of different colors here at Mom's Place and I'm very grateful for that. Though oddly enough, while I was working on that new star from I think around 3 to 4 in the afternoon, I think it finished it around 3.30. I had difficulty finding a normal yellow Sharpie marker. So I ultimately dug through my college stuff a bit. I took a picture... I mean, I took out the yellow Sharpies, the yellow Sharpie highlighters, and used that as a yellow Sharpie, except those yellow Sharpie highlighters have a brighter and lighter 
shade of yellow than the normal Sharpie markers. And this was so on the bottom half of that uh, square styrofoam I was working on. That was pretty thin. That little square block, that was pretty thin. It was so I could make, oh, make on the bottom, make the first of a Roy G. Biv pattern, a pattern I made on each side with uh, some variations in the Sharpies used for those colors, ultimately resulting in a different looking Roy G. Biv for each side on the bottom half. And also, oddly enough, I couldn't find a black Sharpie. But at some point, I was close to finishing that first dark room I made, which I was ultimately able to take a picture of. Again, do that extra hour the reflecting snow gave me. Thus making the current cutoff time around 4.30, I would say, in the afternoon. That is if 4.30 p.m. can be considered afternoon. I think it's pretty much borderline between afternoon and evening. Now at 8.25 yeah, it could be considered borderline between evening and night. Or I guess uh, evening and early night, if you want to be more technical. That experiment at lunch where I put the mini ravioli or the in first then the original spaghettios and ended up creating a bit of a mess as for the can of mini ravioli some of the mini raviolis got stuck on the lid of the can, so I had to shake and hit and hit the bottom of the can with my palm while holding this palm while holding the can with this hand. I ended up getting some concentrated tomato sauce on the kitchen counter where the microwave is. And I microwaved the whole thing for three minutes because that's the time that was given for the SpaghettiOs. And I assumed that having the, sp the SpaghettiOs on top and the increased volume of food would make everything okay, even though the Chef Board the Mini Ravioli is only supposed to be microwaved for a minute and a half. And it ultimately did end up being okay. I have a picture of lunch after eating a small bit of it. Probably just enough so that it wasn't in its slightly overflowed state. And 
And then I took another star, one of those small little styrofoam blocks, and made another styrofoam with it. By which time it was, by which time the sun had pretty much completely set. It was around uh, 6 p.m. ish at that time. I'm just thinking now that the sun has gone down, it may be a relatively good time for the, for those small little oval shaped star foams that I drew a face on on the front with a pen and that I think I colored the rest in using most likely either a Sharpie marker or a colored pencil. At this moment, I'm not entirely sure which. I'm hoping to take a picture of those uh, little egg-shaped star star foams in that plastic container, I mean that cardboard, small little cardboard box That isn't plain cardboard because I think it came from a mall shopping trip. The actual box itself is black while I think I remember it being black. While the lid is pink and white and has floral design. I'm hoping to do this because in order to get a better position for when the next round of Morning Star Foam Pictures come around tomorrow.